Uh, yeah, I am actually pretty busy, but last night, um, at about 10 in the evening, after I got tired of studying uh, my electromagnetics, I built an antenna out of um, old cables and, um, yeah. And I'm busy picking up signals, sort of, right now. There are 60 hertz, which tells me it's uh, interference from electrical devices. Here's our <clears throat> spectrum. Um, actually, from the camera here, it look, just looks like a grid. Let me see if I can... Oh, we got light reflecting. <clears throat> anyway, so... This here is a time, time grid line. You can see the time right there, 902. But this bluish and red stuff isn't part of the grid. It's actually frequencies we're picking up. And it looks like we're picking up... Let me zoom in here. Right now, huh? It's gonna be hard to see. Whatever. I'm gonna zoom into. Yeah, it is 60 hertz. Look at that. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. My battery died on my video camera. Anyway, so uh, you know. Okay. So as you can see here, we've got a really big band right here, uh, where we've got some frequency. Where we're picking up frequency. You can actually see right up there, there's a peak. If we zoom in, if we move the camera closer, rather, you can see, hopefully, that that is 60 hertz. And of course, we know that uh, electrical cables use 60 hertz, like, AC power in a house at 60 hertz, so that's likely what that peak is that we've got right there. Uh, and then we've got a few other peaks here. Uh, let me just move along here. We've got a faint one at 180, and uh, oh, actually, we've got a, a faint one also at 120 there. That's 120 right there, and one at 180. And these are all, of course, multiple so I'd like to actually know what deals with that. Here's one at uh, 300. Actually, there's a very faint one there at 240, about there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Hang on a minute. Between 180 and 240? No, there shouldn't be one. There's another one at 300. Actually, that's a pretty strong one. 360, there's a, there's a faint one there. Uh, what would be the next one up? 420? Huh! Awesome. Okay, let's think. What's the next one? 40. Let's see if we can get one at 480. Wow. It's there, but it's really faint. Okay, let's try up again. 540? Oh, look at that. Moving on up. Uh, should be about 600. Um... I don't know if you could say we're getting anything there. It doesn't look like we are. But it's not even 540. That there is 5... It's a little under 540. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we do have another peak at 6... That's between 650 and 660. Um, if you can zoom in here, you can see exactly where it is. It's a little below 660 and 650. Or rather, above 650, but, yeah. <clears throat> Let's just move along here. Oh, by the the software I'm using is called Spectrum Laboratory, version 2.7. And there's a... By the way, this all down here is just... It, it doesn't refresh, so this is all old stuff here. Up at the top here is what you want to look at. And that's another one between 770 and 780. <clears throat> Uh, 890 and 900. It's almost exactly halfway between those two. So that would be 895, I guess. Funny thing is, I can't even hear, like, all these different signals that are supposedly coming through. That's now 115. That bar right there. Got another one here at, uh, 135. 155, 100, 
1,393, 1,610, wow, okay, we just got frequencies, let me just zoom back out here, well, yeah, there's another one, they're all over the place, anyway, uh, I don't know where these frequencies are coming from, but I'm going to stick this antenna outside and then maybe do a follow-up video at some point. All right, that's all for me. <clears throat> Here's my antenna. Uh, it's connected here to the to the wire that I'm using to plug it into the computer, soldered there. And then I've got it going that way. And at the end there is a toilet roll with wire wrapped around it to make a coil at the end. Um, I'm not sure how this is supposed to why it needs a coil at the end and all the rest, but um, these are the instructions I followed on the website where uh, I found this software, so you should be able to pick up VLF signals, but obviously you can't pick up much when it's inside the house, except interference from electrical equipment. <laughs> anyway, that's all. I'm out now. <laughs>